Good morning. Ah, I'm already out of breath. Been working since about seven o'clock on this thing. So if you follow my channel, you know, or if you haven't followed my channel, let me update you. I have a pool that um, the the pumps and everything went out on, and that was last year. I've had three different pool companies come out. First, first one fixed something and broke something else. The second one was a uh, just a contractor. They weren't a pool company, and they broke the main sand pump filter, the bulkhead fittings. And then I called another pool company who said, well, if it's a bulkhead fittings, you just have to, you know, replace the whole thing. So I'm now into repairing my pool equipment to the tune of a little over $3,500. Um, which I don't have and so my pool has sat here getting greener and greener I have a turtle that lives in here who just had babies, but today I'm trying to do a DIY filter um, I am gonna do a bog filter, but here's what I've come up with in the meantime uh, Let me walk over here and show you so I have a I have a pump that does 2,000 gallons per hour but because everything's so green, I didn't want to put it in the bottom. So I went over to my big box store and I bought this tub and I drilled a gazillion little holes all in it and put my pump in there with the hose coming out. And then I had a uh, 55 gallon rain barrel that I was gonna use to collect rainwater, but instead, high green pool. Instead, what I've done this morning is I cut the top off of it there's the top so I cut the top off of it and the plan is to put the pump in the bottom of the pool I'm gonna put a bulkhead fitting at the bottom of the container I'm gonna put a perforated drainage pipe with a clean out stand that I can stick a vacuum and suck stuff out and then fill it with rock and gravel and put plants on top and so the water will come in through the bottom and semi filter I don't know how good it'll do um, but filter and then come back out into the pool so let me give you an update here in a couple minutes okay so here's what I've got I used a uniseal to put my adapter in the bottom where the hose will come in from the pump and then inside I ran a drainage hose, but then I also cut this uh, milk crate to sit over it so that, because uh, I was afraid stone might crush it, didn't feel heavy enough. So I'm going to do that to protect at least a portion of it. And then, since I don't have level ground, I mean, everything's kind of sloped away from the pool, I cut down a little bit and I put in this waterfall thing. And uh, <laughs> thingy, the thingy, my Bob, we'll see if that works or if I have to modify um, everything I've seen shows putting a two inch PVC pipe in it but I don't have two inch PVC and everything I'm using is just stuff that I had laying around with the exception of the uniseals that I bought on Amazon and the plastic tub that I'm using to put the pump in which I bought at Lowe's I think they cost, that cost me like 12 bucks for that thing anyway um, now I'm gonna try to put the filter media in and Turn it on. Okay, guys, moment of truth on this filter. So, I sunk the pump to the bottom, got it wired in. I have filled it with heavier rock on the bottom and then some pea gravel, but I didn't, and I put in an extra egg crate to prop up some plants, but I didn't have enough to fill it all the way up. So this is going to have to do until payday, and then I'll get some more gravel. But the true test is, does she hold water? Does it flow? Um, let me go turn on the pump and find out. All right, let the games begin. The pump is on. Seeing some water coming in, and I didn't rinse these rocks, so it's going to be milky white, but I tell you what. I'm an old lady, and this pool's so dirty anyway. Okay. We have a leak. That seal is not tight enough. So I'll have to turn that off and try to do some 5200 or something on it. But water's rising. 
<laughs> I found this old uh, fry basket for like a deep fryer and I put a this is a paint strainer net that I put on it and I'm gonna put it in here and I think I'll start out with putting my mint in there but before I stop and plug this hole I want to see if it flows out that or if I have to come up with something else dun 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 Moment of truth. Nope. 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 Okay. That thing's gonna need some weight. And we have flow from underneath. All right, guys, well, that's a bust. Let me shut this off. Almost worked. Try again, back to the drawing board. Okay. I didn't have 5200, which I use all the time, so that's probably why I'm out. But I did have Flex Seal paste. I put this on there a couple hours ago, and I'm going to... Okay. Wow, wearing myself out today. So, as I said, the, uh, we've got a couple little leaks down in the bottom. I'll patch those after I pick up a tube of 5200. I forgot about the two little holes that I drilled that have zip ties running through them to keep the, uh, the waterfall piece in place. The patching underneath the waterfall piece worked just fine. The, um, the water was overflowing at the back of the barrel. But with a little ingenuity, I found a piece of plastic garden edging, which I cut to fit the size of the barrel. I wedged it in there really tight, so we're not leaking out the back anymore. We only have a couple little leaks in the front. I'm going to call it a success for today, and um, I'll update you as this improves. Thanks for watching.